All right, guys, welcome back. Um, so I've been looking through forums, and I found that a lot of people are asking to see how to delete their hard drives or delete their drives or wipe them off or partition them or whatever. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up a web page. Uh, with that web page, you are going to go to google.com, and we're going to go to Partition Wizard. So Partition Wizard very easy right we're gonna go to this option here partition wizard we're gonna click on download we're gonna hover over download then we're gonna go to uh, free download that's gonna download on the bottom there cool we're gonna click on that that exe file uh, it's gonna prompt you if you want it yes or no we're gonna say yes uh, this is gonna show up let's minimize this this is gonna show up we're gonna click OK so it's gonna ask me to uninstall my previous version because I already have one in there, just so you can see that it's all legit. We're gonna click on yes. That's gonna show up. This is also gonna show up. Um, I don't care, let's see. I don't care about Shadow Maker, so I usually un unclick that. I don't care about participating on anything, so I usually unclick that. I just want the mini tool partition wizard. That's all I need. So go to next. It, it'll auto select where you want to install it. Click on next. Would you like to install that folder? And then, yes, I already have a folder there, but we're going to install it anyways because we want to show you that this is all legit. All right, it's already installed. Launch from the mini tool partition wizard. Um, it's going to give you this thing to where it's going to want to buy the, its, in, its thing and it's going to thank you for downloading all that cool stuff. We can close that, close that, close that. All right, so once you launch mini tool partition wizard, this is going to show up. This is all of your drives, okay? It's gonna see it's gonna see all your all of your drives. One thing that I have to tell you, please make sure you select the correct drive. For this example, we're gonna be using a thumb drive, but this is also here's my NVMe, here's my hard drive, here's my other NVMe, okay? For this example, we're gonna we're gonna be using a thumb drive. So to completely wipe this, just go ahead and click on right click on on the uh, the drive that you want. Go ahead and click on delete all partitions. Click on yes. This is gonna be grayed out. Okay, nothing happens until you hit apply. So make sure you go down here and hit apply really quickly. Apply, boom. That's gonna update, save, boom. Now this is completely wiped up. In order for your computer to see it though, you still have to format it. So let's go ahead and format it. We're gonna right click anywhere on the gray area. Right click, create. We're gonna we're gonna name it whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and name it USB drive data. And then click uh, select your uh, format well uh, uh, honestly select your format before you name it because it'll actually uh, uh, reset this but I'm gonna leave it as NTFS for now click OK NTFS is what a hard drive or an NVMe is gonna run on your computer with uh, you can do FAT32 for uh, for USB drives though alright so now that it's here it's gonna show you what it's gonna look like um, and then you're gonna click apply to make sure that you save those settings okay we're good so far right all right, so we're gonna wait wait until this finishes off. The cool thing about a partition wizard is that even after you've done this, it'll easily allow you to repartition your drive. So we just formatted, we just wiped this off. We created another partition on it. It's full here. But if we really, if we wanted to split this into two different partitions, let's say you want to split your hard drive or your NVMe into two different areas to separate, let's say your games versus your files or whatever. So go ahead and right click anywhere on the drive. Go to split, and look, you can select which side you want to be bigger or smaller. Isn't that crazy? That's It's so simple. We're gonna split it right down the middle. We're not, not exactly down the middle, but we're gonna guesstimate here down the middle. Click OK. It's gonna show you exactly how it's gonna format it. Nothing happens until you hit apply. Remember that. So go down here and hit apply. Boom, boom. Simple as that, right? Awesome, so now we just have to wait until it, uh, it finishes doing what it's doing. Boom, 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 boom. And let's go, 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 let's go. Updating platform. All right, cool. We're done. Sweet. All right, sweet. So let's just imagine hey, you just pre partitioned these two things and you feel like you should only wipe one side. You can actually right click on it and you can go to delete. Boom. That, that's now you have half of your drive unallocated if you regret doing it there's a button little button here that says undo boop it undoes it okay remember nothing happens unless you hit apply easy enough to remember right it, let's say if you want to 
edit. So if you want to edit only one of the partitions, you can. If you decide, oh crap, I don't need these two partitions anymore, so I need to create only the drive as one partition now. Go ahead and right click like you did before, delete all partitions, boom, boom, boom. It's wiped out again. Make sure you create again. I'm gonna select FAT32 this time, and I'm gonna, because I want it to be as a thumb drive, it's FAT32. Obviously, if you're an NVMe or, NT, or, uh, or a hard drive, you're gonna be selecting NTFS, and I'm gonna name it USB Dude, because I don't care. And <laughs> click OK. Remember, nothing happens unless you hit apply, or until you hit apply. So let's go ahead and click apply, boom, boom. And let's and let it finish doing what it's doing. All right, so so I hope this was helpful. I hope this was uh, something that uh, that showed you how to do this really quickly without you having to pay anybody money to do it. Um, just remember, you select the correct drive. Don't don't delete your OS drive on accident. Um, and also, this is an easier alternative to using the command line or disk part within Windows, um, or the disk management within Windows. If you, this is a more you in my opinion a more user-friendly option so hopefully this helped thank you very much for uh, watching the video and see you on the next one take care